Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, um, I want to show you guys how you can use a gradient blur so that it could make your drawings look like it's uh, out of focus at the far end and really sharp at the front end. Um, so this is going to be a really quick video. Uh, it's really easy. So as far as I know, uh, Clip Studio Paint does not have a a built-in tool that allows you to do uh, a gradient blur so this is a trick that I kind of picked up I kind of discovered uh, if you do this so I went online and I looked for a perspective drawing uh, I don't know who the artist is there's his signature down here at the bottom but I can't uh, read it uh, so like I said I just went online and found a perspective drawing of the street you know so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, so if you notice here on the the closest part of your drawing the lines are very sharp but if you look back here the lines are as equally sharp as they are up front and so even though the perspective is done correctly the um, because of this, uh, it's a drawing, not a photograph. Because of this, it, it kind of doesn't really sell the illusion of it being having any depth. Um, well, it does. The perspective helps. But you'll see that the blur kind of gives it that extra, uh, that extra sense of depth. And so um, what we're going to do is fade these, uh, the background here. So what the way you can do this is um, I'm going to put this empty raster layer below the drawing and I'm going to fill it with the green paint just so you guys can see what's going on. So um, again, I'll say that this um, is best done when everything is completed. The line art, the inking, the coloring, um, everything. Make sure everything is done before you do this. So this is a, a post-production uh, effect that you do on your drawings. So we're gonna make a copy of this JPEG. So now we have two copies. And as far as I know, I don't think you can use the blur tool on a JPEG. So I'm going to rasterize that layer by coming to layer, rasterize. So now that JPEG has become a raster layer. So now, I'm going to go to the filter tool. I'm going to go. Uh, actually, let me adjust my the tool we need uh, first. What we're going to use is this gradient tool here. So on the left, it's a square with a black corner that fades into white. And the by default, it's it's on. It should be this uh, this selection here. But what we want is this uh, second to the last. You'll see it's gradient erase. And again, by default, it should be set up like this. So um, this tool allows you to uh, erase uh, erase stuff on your layer, at a, and it'll do gra a gradual progression. I'll show you here. I'm going to erase the original, uh, not erase. I'm going to uh, blind the original uh, drawing. So I'm going to erase this this layer here. I'll show you. And what this tool means is uh, this is the end, the left end of this bar here is where you click. And then the, the, the right end of the bar is where you, you end your line. So I'll show you here. So I'm going to go to the vanishing point. I'm going to click here and drag the line up and then let go. And you'll see that where I clicked uh, my mouse or my stylus, and then uh, dragged it up that's um, where the gradient happens so the first click is the erase and then the last line is where I don't want anything erased and then in between it gradually erased right but what we want is not a line what we want is a circle so if you do the circle as is you'll see that um, it erases the center of uh, the circle and then as I as I let go of the end of the circle it left all this but 
again is not exactly what we want we want the inverse so come here to advanced settings hit this little um, inverse re uh, yeah reverse gradient this kind of flip-flops it and so now if you do the circle now uh, the center has survived and then it gradually erases everything else as the circle gets bigger and so that's pretty much the the size that I want so I'll have to remember that but before we erase anything what we want to do is again we're on the top layer and we're going to uh, blur this so we come here to filter we go to blur Gaussian blur and uh, this is where uh, you kind of have to play with um, the numbers so six looks pretty blurred uh, let's see 10 10 looks very very blurred so we'll go with 10 but again so this will this will be up to you guys you you guys have to do um, whatever whatever you your numbers feel good for you uh, that's what you're gonna use so now we're gonna erase go back to the vanishing point make that circle and then let go and so that there it is so the the center here at the very end of the street is blurred everything else is erased and so when you turn on the bottom layer again you'll see that um, the so the bottom layer remember is the unfocused drawing right and if you turn on the top if if you have the blurred layer on top of it it'll it'll blur the um, the centerpiece here and then it, it gradually because you gradually erased it it'll show through the bottom layer which is your very sharp um, maybe that blur was a bit too much let me undo that and let me do that again I think that blur was a little bit too much maybe six will do and go to the gradient tool erase go to the yeah so something like that so that looks good and so that's how you can get a a gradient blur um, so yeah I hope you guys found this video informative uh, helpful and uh, if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't uh, subscribed please consider subscribing to the channel and clip studio paint tutorial videos like this if you guys got any questions make sure you leave them in the comments um, and if I can't answer it in the comments, I'll make a video about it. Um, and so, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.